Buenos dias, and good morning. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Mickey and um, all of the conference organizers, to all of you who are elected officials, and to all who make government work, but who more importantly serve the people of this community. It is my honor to bring you greetings on behalf of the board and the staff of the National League of Cities. I am also honored to bring you greetings on behalf of Clarence Anthony, who you saw earlier at the opening of the conference by video. I am uh, thankful to Mickey and to the organizers for allowing me to deviate from my place in the conference. We had a tragedy in our city of Gary, and I need to get back to attend to business. And, um, not that this isn't business, but we all know that uh, politics start at home, do we not? Um, and so that's really what I want to talk to you for about for the brief time that I have. You are here because you care about delivering good government to your communities. You are here because you want to get more knowledge, you want to get more strategies, you want to get more information about how you can be better and more effective at what you do. Here's what I would suggest to you. While it is important to talk about smart cities and technology, and we just heard a wonderful panel about that, while it is important to talk about budgeting and being financially responsible, and you certainly focus on that. And while it's important to make sure that we have data and outcomes, I would suggest that at the center of your service in the communities that you live and serve is your love for people. People don't talk about that very often. They talk about all of the inanimate objects about government and about our cities and towns. But I would suggest to you that if people see and know how much you love your communities, then you are a better mayor, you are a better council member, you're a better judge, you are a better public works director, you are better in whatever that you do. And so this year, we have been talking at NLC about loving your city. And so I would invite you to go to our website, www.mycity.love, to sign up. I also want you to use the National League of Cities as a resource. The great news about it is that you can join the National League of Cities at the right price. You know what that price is? Zero. Nothing. And so we care that much about the challenges that you have, and we believe that much in our ability to help you address those challenges that we are willing to offer membership to the cities, to the communities here in Puerto Rico at no charge at all. And so we know that many of you have already taken us up on that offer. If you haven't done it already, we have a, a table out in the hallway, and we know that you uh, can access that opportunity by simply stopping at that table. The second thing that I want to talk about is the importance of uh, looking at how you can deliver services better. What I was going to talk about as a part of the panel was shared services. And I know that people get a little nervous when they talk about shared services because whenever you share, you don't know if somebody is going to get a little more than you will, right? So if we're sharing a sandwich, and if that sandwich isn't cut right down the middle, then one of us 
got shorted in that sharing experience, right? So when you talk about sharing services between communities, there is always a little bit of nervousness. There's always a little bit of apprehension because we're not sure how it's going to turn out. But here's what I would suggest to you. It is important to look at every opportunity that we have to share services. Why is that? Because you get the best talent pool. You get the best talent that allows you to deliver the best services. Why is that? Because in many instances, it is more efficient. Now, there are some change times when it isn't. And when it isn't more efficient, then we shouldn't do it. And I would suggest to you that it allows us to serve more people on many, many occasions. Um, in closing, let me suggest this, that um, each of you signed up, ran for, volunteered, wanted to do your jobs, because not only do you want to deliver good government, but you want to deliver the best opportunity for people to be who they want to be, to reach their highest and greatest dreams and aspirations, to achieve the goals that they have set for themselves and their children. And here's what I know, that while each of you is different, each of us are different, that all of us want our children to get quality educations, we want to have a good day's pay for a good day's work. We want it to treat, be treated fairly and equitably. And we also want to retire and grow old with grace and dignity. So often, each of you in this room is the only thing that stands between the citizens that we serve and their ability to achieve those goals and to live their best lives and to enjoy the best quality of their lives. And so you are clearly doing God's work by doing that. And so what I would say to you that is that the National League of Cities wants to join with FACMA, wants to join with your local League of Cities wants to join with ICMA and all of the other sponsors in supporting you as you support the citizens that you serve. It is my honor to join you at Experiencia Puerto Rico. Thank you for the work that you do. And as you meet the challenges that you experience on a day-to-day -day basis, may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Thank you.